2017, in my opinion, is shaping up to be one of the best years for the CPU market. Ryzen has entered with the Ryzen 5 1600 and Ryzen 7 1700 CPUs, which have offered incredible value for money. And now they're also going to release the Ryzen 3 CPUs and also their Ryzen 9 CPUs, which are again going to bring even more value for money to the table. But on the other hand, what have Intel been doing? They seem to be going backwards in some ways. So today we're going to discuss all these things. Welcome back to Tech Yes City, this is Brian coming to you guys today with a video about CPUs and I just checked my email the other day and there was a big announcement from AMD. They're going to release the Ryzen 3 CPUs, which are rumored to come in at $109 for the 4-core Ryzen 3 1200 and also $129 for the Ryzen 3 1300X. Now both these CPUs will include coolers and they'll also be overclockable too. So the G4560 will now have some serious competition and that's one of the only few CPUs I like from Intel. However, in America at the moment, I believe this CPU is actually above its retail price. In Australia, you can currently pick this up for 77 Australian dollars, which in triple P terms makes it $60 US after tax, which is still a really good buy. However, a four core for $110 is definitely gonna bring some good competition to the market. Now, another huge announcement from AMD was their Ryzen 9 CPUs. They announced two SKUs, one being the 16 core 32 threaded Ryzen 9 1950X. Now, this is coming in at $1,000 and again, it performs amazing from what we've seen so far. Over 3,000 points in Cinebench. So for you guys that need the performance from multi-threaded CPUs, this thing is definitely going to deliver. And then they've got the 1920X, which is a 12-core, 24-threaded CPU coming in at $799. From what we've seen so far out of the box, it performs over the Cinebench score over 2,400 points. Also, both these CPUs will be overclockable. However, me personally, I am waiting for the announcement for the non-X CPUs. As we saw with the Ryzen CPUs, the non-X CPUs give you the best bang for buck. Since they are overclockable and they do come in cheaper than the X variants, I'm really curious to see what the 12-core non-X variant will be. My guess is around $700 for a 12-core 24-threaded processor, going to be insanely good performance for the dollar. Now with the Ryzen 9 CPUs, they're going to use a new chipset, namely the X399. Now this differs from the Ryzen 7 in that it has 4,094 pins. So it's an absolute monster in terms of size. Also on the X399 chipset, you get quad channel memory. Now I'm actually curious to see this and how it will pan out in actual games. As we know that the dual channel memory and also single channel versus dual channel on the Ryzen 7 CPUs does affect gaming performance. So I'd like to see how dual channel versus quad channel affects gaming performance also. Now another really good thing that's coming with Ryzen 9 is 64 PCIe lanes. So with Ryzen 7 you only got 16 PCIe lanes native to the CPU and also 8 on the chipset. However this time with Ryzen 9 you're getting 64. Now this comes from them using two Zeppelin dies and one Zeppelin die has two CCX modules which is what Ryzen uses. However I believe this time with the Zeppelin dies on Ryzen 9 they're fully enabled in terms of PCIe lanes hence why you get 64. So what does this mean for the current state of the CPU market? Well, in my opinion, it is so damn good in 2017. I believe we've actually never had it better than we've had it this year. Competition is finally back, prices are good, and what this means is that you guys, the end consumer, end up winning in terms of value for money. Ryzen 7 and Ryzen 5 have brought exceptional value for money for the table, and they've also forced Intel to drop the prices of their flagships. For instance, let's look at the 6950X, which costs $1,700, now the 7900X, which is the same part, but newer, is now costing $1,000. Though on that note of Intel, however, they seem to be taking a stab at AMD as well, saying that their CPUs are simply glued together, and I believe that's not the correct statement. I believe AMD in ways with Ryzen are innovating for the future. The Infinity Fabric seems to be the way going forward. If we look at, for example, in historical terms, we had one core going to two cores. It now makes logical sense to go from one die to two die and learn how to efficiently connect them. And I know that is what AMD is doing with Ryzen. If we look at the 16 and 12 core components that they've shown the benchmarks for, they look like they're scaling near perfect in comparison to the Ryzen 5 and 7 CPUs. So anyway guys, let me know in the comments section below what you think of the current state of the CPU market and also let me know your favorite picks for CPUs currently. If I had to pick a few CPUs, my favorite would be the Ryzen 5 1600 at the moment. Couple that with a cheap B350 motherboard and you have such power for such good money. And also the G4560 would probably come in second place if you can pick it up for retail. Really good if you're on a budget and you just want an entry level graphics card. And of course the Ryzen 5 1400 and Ryzen 7 1700 are really good value for money too. 
too. And then you've got the 7700K if you want absolute performance in games or if you're a competitive gamer and you need the best FPS available. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed today's video, then be sure to hit that like button and also maybe subscribe if you want to get the latest tech news from Tech Yes City. And also don't forget to hit that notification bell if you want the videos as soon as possible delivered to your inbox. And also what about X399 pricing on the motherboards? I believe they will come in at over around $200. Similar to X299, maybe a little bit cheaper because I believe AMD won't charge as much for an X399 license as opposed to Intel. But expect them to be around $200 as all those components that they put on those motherboards don't come cheap, especially a 4,094 pin socket. And as always, I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.